The world is my canvas, my camera is my paintbrush, and the editor is my paint. Welcome to the documentary of a film artist. Day one. So right now I'm just in the bathroom, you know, edging up a little bit, shaving up a little bit, getting fresh. About to hop in the shower. Um, you never know who you run into when you're out in the field doing professional filming and stuff like that. You never know. You know, y'all might run into a professional producer. So I gotta make sure I look real professional and real, you know, real nice and real good and you know. And after that, after I'm done with all this, get all my camera equipment, put it in the car, go pick up my son from school and go see where I'm gonna go film at. Alright people, so uh I'm on my way to go pick up my son from school. I guess head to uh, Balboa Park, San Diego. That's like, you know, where I plan on going. Actually, I wanted to go somewhere else, but you know, it's kind of far out. I don't got gas like that. But you know, sometimes like I put on my Facebook post, I wish I lived like in the country sometimes, like, you know, mountains and waterfalls and forests and wilderness and all kind of stuff like that because I like stuff like that um, I can really come up with some very very creative videos if I live in areas like that you know or accessible to areas like that there's a couple of national parks uh, up north in California and to the east and stuff like that but you know like I said I don't got gas for that there's one place I want to go that's like seven miles out I would need a hotel you know, in order to go there, because I doubt that I drive seven miles, I mean, seven hours, seven miles, seven hours, and get to a location just to shoot for a day. Like, I'd be so exhausted from driving, I need a hotel, and then the next day, wake up early in the morning and film, and then go home from there. But, um, yeah, man, that's what happens when you live in a city, there you get bored of things to film, you know, and I'm the kind of person where I like filming a lot of different types of things, not just the same old, same old, so. You know, right now, I guess I'm about to go film this one video that I shot before, but I shot it wrong, I guess, because my camera was acting crazy. So yeah, man, we, you know, when I, when I get to a location to film, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like, at first, like, I, I try and find my foundation. First, I mean, I do a couple of test shots just to get me motivated and going, because it does take motivation you know, to start, you know, finding these nice little shots because you gotta have a good eye. So it takes that, you know, a couple of simple shots just to get my eye going and start looking at things and getting my framing right on how I wanna shoot certain things and stuff like that. And then after that, it's just one thing to another. It's like connecting the dots, dots or whatever. It's like, you go from one shot, then right when you do that shot, you see another shot and it becomes real easy, but you gotta get your creative mind going and stuff like that before your eye, your creative eye even start, you know, getting processed and you start seeing all kind of unique shots and movements and stuff like that. Especially now when I got more gear, now you got to really think about, okay, how I'm going to get this shot and stuff like that. And, you know, things of that nature. So, all right, so we just got off the freeway. Um, forgot to get some gas, so just got off to get some gas right now and then about to head straight on up to Balboa Park, God damn it. Yeah. Got the equipment in the back. Yeah, man. Ready to go. So here's the downtown area. We're approaching as we make our way to our destination. All right, so we're almost there. There's the San Diego City College over there to the right. McDonald's over there to the left and up coming up past San Diego City College we have San Diego High School which is where I graduated from you know I'll just give you guys a little bit of history of moi you know a lot of memories man good memories and some bad memories some crazy memories right here at San Diego High School uh -huh. the main thing I miss about high school is the honeys yeah man yeah, man. It's funny because even in high school, never studied film. I didn't even get into film until way five years after I was out of high school. Actually, seven years after I was out of high school. That's when I started studying film. I never studied film except for when I was like in middle school and we had like a little uh, drama class and I used to love that. But as far as other than that, 
never ever since you know ever since i was like you know way younger so that's kind of crazy all right so um we're here and before i get out the car i'm just going to take this camera with me so i can do a little bit of vlogging and bring my canon backpack and i'm gonna leave everything else in the car for right now just to do a little bit of scouting for right now um right now it's like 310 almost 315 and um, yeah, I was going to do a little bit of scouting around for 15 minutes, even though I do already know the area, but just so I won't have to carry all this equipment around so I can get an idea of what I want to shoot. I already know what I want to shoot, but just get an idea of how I want to frame stuff and just ideas of just stuff, you know. Yeah, pretty much what I want to shoot. So um, yeah, man, come with me. All right, so here we are. Here we are. Balboa Park, the home of San Diego's museums and stuff like that. Got a lot of people taking pictures and stuff. Where we're gonna be going is up over there, across the way. Got like a lot of flowers and roses and stuff like that. It's a video I shot with like some roses and stuff and flowers and I went to reshoot that video. So yeah, we're going up over there. So here's a nice little open area. I always thought that was real nice to uh, shoot like a little, you know, some kind of scene. You know, like a little pan shot or something like that. Which is kind of making me want to change my mind about what I want to shoot today. I'm supposed to be shooting just, you know, flowers and stuff. Just close-ups, macro shots with the uh, Canon L lens, the 24-105 to kit lens. I come with the 6D and 5D and all that stuff. But um, I still haven't really shot a Balboa Park uh, video yet. Like, you know, actually I did a long time ago with my older camera. I erased that video though, once I got real better at filming, but um, maybe it may not be a bad idea to go ahead and shoot like a Balboa Park, Life of Balboa Park video, you know, but I didn't, yeah, I think, I think I might do something like that. I might shoot two videos today, so, you know, who knows. Alright, so now we're walking back to the car to go get the gear. I think I'm going to shoot two videos today, I'm going to shoot the one with the roses, I might not have time for all that though. But um, yeah, we're walking back to the car right now. And um, I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> I was about to say something when I started this camera, but I forgot. But um, yeah, man, I'm about to go get the equipment and get the show on the road. Get my creative mind going, flowing, and you know, get it going, so. so um, we're pretty much on the last shot or whatever um, I wanted to shoot a little bit more but the Sun is dying down on me it took a lot of time to shoot each, each shot cuz you know the um, DSLR on a camera crane is like real time-consuming you got to focus and I've been focusing on infinity the whole time mostly to get like you know wide shots and stuff like that but that's mainly, mainly what I've been using infinity focus so um, right now I want to get a couple more shots or whatever and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up so it's been a cool shoot. I handed out a few cards and stuff like that. It's been, you know, real fun out here meeting people. So yeah, so we're going to get a couple more shots of like the museum and the landscapes. And I wanted to get like a real good sunset, but the area that I'm at, the trees and stuff are in a way. So we can't really get that right now. So I'm going to have my son shoot me, film me, getting a couple more shots or whatever. And I couldn't get shots the whole time I was filming because we already was carrying around a whole lot of stuff. So I didn't want to be trying to film myself filming and carrying around stuff it's, it's just it's already too too much time consuming so you know a lot of people showing me love out here and stuff and it feels good for people to check out my stuff and see what i'm doing and inter interested in what i'm doing so you know so this got to be the very first video ever where i'm kind of 
completely unsatisfied with my overall video just for the simple fact that I made a mistake by either over exposing the highlights inside certain scenes or under exposing the shadows inside certain scenes and the issue with that is when you under expose the dark areas you lose all that details within the dark areas or if you and or if you overexpose the highlights you lose all the details within the bright areas of the image and that's mainly what I did because I was using someone's custom picture profile there was a guy on YouTube that made a video showing how to use the included software to your advantage to create your own custom profile to bring out the best in your highlights and the best inside your shadows when you're adjusting the camera and even though I created my own I also used one of his you know and basically it's not that his was bad it's just that I was using it for the wrong shoot and with that said, it was hard for me to set my camera correctly just by looking at the monitor because it was hard to determine if I was blowing out the highlights or crushing the shadows just by, you know, so I shouldn't have never used that one. I was better off using the cinema one or my own custom one that I had made, not the one that he made that was meant for like sunsets and stuff like that. So yeah, people, y'all here doing it big, you know, boy M. Lee, Marvin Lee Dub, you know, meeting people. It's all about having fun, man. It's being creative. Whatever your creative art is, just do it, man. It doesn't matter what it is. I fell in love with film, so that's what I'm doing, filming. And it's fun. You know, and it's fun to sit back on my laptop and look at these raw images and then put them into the editor and turn raw images, images into something incredible. I really love it. Got my son, little Em Lee, on the camera. You know, you know he tired. We've been having had him out here for the last past four hours, filming, walking around, carrying stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get. I wanted to get a shot of the stage over there, but there's not really nothing going on. I think I'm gonna get one more shot like right here by the waterfall, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this shoot up. Probably one shot of the lights right here in the hallway as well. And that's going to be that. So thank you guys for watching this um, uh, documentary of a film artist. And be looking out for day two. Peace. So what I'm doing right now is a side-by-side -side split. So on the left side is exactly how it looks when it comes out the camera. As far as the settings that I was using for that day. And... There's a lot of detail, but at the same time, there's some shots where I kind of underexposed or overexposed, especially in the beginning, I overexposed the shots. And um, like I said, on the left side, it's the raw image, no color grading at all done to that side. On the other side, on the right side, it's the actual finished product. So you can see a comparison. It's always good to see the raw footage versus the edited footage anyways. So you can see the big difference in how much work someone spent in front of the, inside the editor bringing out you know, a certain kind of look to the film or to the video.